Hey guys, this is Cadme here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with It Came From The Radio. That's right, from my boy Mark. I'm here with Written Rit Ralph, as well as, I love to, I, you gotta hear her say her name, because I love the way you say it. Here's Sister Slaya Les. I'm sorry, Leslie. I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> you really have no idea. We are here at New York City Comic Con, tearing up the place. Um, we're trying to have fun at the same time, as well as get interviews done. We even get John Carpenter, Carpenter's wife. Ah! I'm sorry. We're just we're fans. We're fans. Clean my bells over that. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoy the interviews that we have lined up for you. Of course, we uh, follow up with Zindan. We have so many people that we uh, want you to kind of just get to know. Make sure you stay tuned. Be sure to click that button down there to subscribe. And welcome to New York City, baby. Hi, this is Les, a.k.a. Sister Slayer for the Bitten Apple here at the New York Comic Con. And I am here with James Nimitz. Nailed it. Okay. And Sandy King Carpenter. And we are here with Storm King Comics. One of the books that we got today was Halloween Night. And uh, it is a John Carpenter and Sandy King Carpenter collaboration. Am I here? And also with you? Yes. Yeah, okay. A whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. One of the things that I noticed about the comic is that I noticed that the characters were drawn like. Um, people from old horror films. I looked at, I saw Vincent Price, I saw Christopher Lee. What made you guys use those particular people as your characters for these books? I mean, I can't speak for Sandy, but a lot of that comes up to the artist. Uh, we give them the scripts, tell them what we want, and a lot of those guys are fans of classic horror stuff, so they kind of inject a bit of that themselves. And this characters were actually written as the ghosts of those people. Oh. Wow, see that's very, I can't wait to read this now. Let me ask you this, um, your collaboration with um, John Carpenter, of course, you have a more personal collaboration with him, am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> She's married to him. <laughs> um, let me just say, we, ha we are fans, I mean, John Carpenter has always been somebody that has been, to me, the, the idea or iconic horror con king. Uh, I first saw Halloween when I was, I don't know how many, how old, but one of the things that I loved about Halloween was that I'm from Illinois, and it looked like Illinois. It looked exactly like that. It reminded me of going trick-or-treating when I was a kid, and so that movie horrified me. I also am a big fan. It, he, he did. He aced it. I am also a big fan of The Fog, which, um, of course, you know, I don't know. Even those things are concept. What do you think about people remaking those films now? Because that's the big issue that I have with a lot of these films. I mean, sometimes you just you can't perfect on perfection, especially like The Thing, for instance. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh, I am a really big fan of John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah. yeah. As, as far as The Thing goes, that's probably the only one I'm a really big fan of. I'll say that. You'll say that? Yeah. What do you think about it, about the, the remaking films? Here's the thing, uh, it doesn't, it's not like they went out and burned the original negative. You can always see the original, and uh, I wish everybody luck. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you, I hate it. So, I don't think it's too fair. It's fair. Um, because first of all, they don't stay to the original concept, and let's say for instance, the thing itself. The, the horror, the graphics in that movie were so advanced. They hold up, they hold up even today, yes. years after that film. So, I mean, it's just iconic. Um, what do you guys plan on? What's more, do you guys have any more collaborations that you're going to be doing? Are you just now just starting with these particular uh, graphic novels? Are you guys planning on any more of a series? For Halloween night is yearly. It always comes out at Halloween so that all the, lo all the local comic shops have an anthology. The first story is always by John, the last story is always by me, and it's a collaboration with lots of writers, lots of artists. We just started uh, John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction, that the first stories, uh, it's a series of mini-series. James wrote the first set of stories out, that's uh, Vault. He just wrapped up a three-issue series on that. Uh, the next one, Vortex, starts October 25th. That'll last for eight months. After that, we have Louise Simonson's series. After that, we have Joe Harris's series. And I've got three years of that planned. Oh my gosh, I can't wait three years. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, that's, 
That's giving me chills right now. It really is. Now, where can I look at, um, I know today it was like the, the original copy that was signed by John himself, and I also got it signed by her, but I'm so glad. Um, where can we look for you guys uh, online, Twitter, Facebook, whatever? I'm just at James Ninnis. I, I keep it simple. No spaces, just my name. But the books are always available at uh, StormKingComics.com. Uh, uh, you can find us on Twitter, Storm King Comics. You can find us on Facebook, Storm King Comics. And look in your local comic shops. So, fans, this is what I'm telling you. Go and check out these horror comics. This is from someone who is extremely iconic, and I don't think it's going to disappoint. Thank you again here from the New York Comic Con, Bit and Apple. Okay, guys, this is Katma here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with the K from the radio. Uh oh. What's that? There's trouble, guys. Oh, let's go.